Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you join me live at Todd Pomona. I say live, in session should I say, at Todd Pomona. And I'm gonna review, uh, give you my initial thoughts of the Camo Light Barrow Bag and the reasons why I actually bought it. So first, we'll start with the reason why. So um, if you do follow me and you've seen me around fishing, you'll know that I like to uh, try and stay as light as possible, especially on day sessions or evening sessions or after night, or sorry, um, overnight work sessions, midweek and stuff like that. Um, you'll know that I have the camo light um, rucksack, ruck all. And I seen this borrow bag, uh, one of my mates had it on one of the sessions and I seen it and I thought, um, it's really good. It's got some really good, the um, some really good uh, features on it and stuff that the bar bag doesn't, sorry, the um, ruck all doesn't. And the basic reason was that I got it is on the longer sessions, I think a swan's about to swim through my lines. Yeah, potentially let's just see this go past. No, not too bad, good. Yeah, there you go. Oh, one little bleep, not too bad for three rods. Anyway, where was I? Just settling back down. So as I uh, said, the reason I got it and I seen it was the, some of the features and which we'll go through shortly. The, for me, I wanted to get it so in my lighter sessions, I could just go to my shed, uh, take the stuff I needed, put it in my ruck hole and my rucksack and just go. So then some of the longer sessions I want to I want to try and keep everything in this barrow bag. Uh, some a lot of the bigger items take them out of my bag that's inside my wheelbarrow, so I've got more stuff for likes of clothes, wet proof, sorry, wet proof, waterproof, some extra warm clothes on those uh, colder sessions. So that was the main reason, so I could pick and choose what suited the angling situation best. Because what I didn't want to do is hug around potentially 10, 15 kilos of, of uh, tackle on my shoulder strap. Um, but what I can do, I can take 10 kilos in my rucksack and free up some of my shoulders for some of my other stuff like my mat, my rod bag, stuff like that. So let's get into some of the features. I've already mentioned it has a removable shoulder strap. Alongside that we have a carry handle either side of the lid. So you can just lift it on and off real easy. And another good thing is this uh, Velcro strap here. It's a two part strap. And this actually holds the bag on the barrel. So no, there's no weight on the barrel. I can tip it up and it, and it won't move at all. There you go. It's completely off this floor. Um, you can either have it that way, you can have it configured that way for if you've got your bed chair and whatnot. If you're just going for a day and you don't need a bed chair, you can figure it on the opposite side. This is the Fox Explorer uh, barrel, which it's pretty much designed for. Moving on, we've got the hard lid along with the same on the bottom and then we lift the lid up and if it's configured this way with the bar there the lid will stay upright at roughly 90 degrees as you can see it's got the webbed pockets on the lid really good for bits like i've already got in there toothbrush toothpaste any bits that um, you might need to protect but not as much as that don't take up a side pocket so in there i've got a bit of med so some uh what's it called I can't remember what they're called now, cold and flu stuff, some painkillers, anything like that that might you might need on a longer session because if it's only for an evening or um, an afternoon you can normally grease it out. So yeah, that's what I'm going to put in there. I've not done the full transfer of kit. In here, just normal bits and bobs, rig box, lead bag, uh, pod bag, uh, some PVA bits and bobs there, bobbins, zig, bo zig bag, yeah, all well, good. Um, tripod there for the camera side pouch in one side pouch I've got little bits and bobs so I've got my license holder sunglasses shock leader some line spare batteries the good thing about these as well they've got some webbing webbing pockets on the side so in there I've got a little multi-tool some cribs uh, some uh, little uh, bank sticks or buzz bar should I say so double ones for when I'm fishing uh, a smaller setup on this side, I think this is actually, I'm not sure if it was designed for this, but it looks really good. So in there I've got my tackle box, and this is the, the new 
Fox medium tackle box fits in there like it almost like it was designed to do it which I'm not sure it was and yeah and say if you are fishing a day session and you have brought this and you've got all this tucked away uh, I'm going to take that shoulder strap off because I don't feel like there's a need for it so on this I can open this up if say if I just want to make a little bit of PVA stick or something I can go in there reach my PVA get a new rig out you know grab my tripod for a for a um, for a self take and you can you know easy access for some stuff there which is I think that's a cool design feature and yeah that is it really I haven't done the full transfer kit but essentially that's what I've that's why I brought it um, can't really see any problems with it just yet maybe would I have liked to have seen maybe uh, a, a compartment in there like a, some velcro on the sides and once you've got stuff that you very rarely use you can put a almost add a second layer to it and then on top you've got stuff that you use regularly maybe that we could have thought of that um, anything else really no I'm quite content it's pretty much designed it's the same width of the barrel so it's not going to take up any extra space anywhere uh, yeah I'm quite content with that as I said it's got a hard bottom similar like the top so it's, it's quite rugged yeah I'm happy with that as it stands so far so good if you do have any questions about this and you want me to answer it uh, feel free to ping them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible if I don't have the answer straight away if it's something that I haven't covered I'll go back and I'll check it out for you before you end up buying it because it is I think the price mark was maybe 100 and 110 I'm not too sure um, but I have only just bought it so I'm on top of my mind. I went in their shop this morning bought this and something else can't remember and the two tier bivy table so if you want to look at the two tier bivy table again there'll be a review on that as in first look first impressions on that as well if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel for more reviews and some vlog sessions uh, the next one after this top of mana one coming up just for out of interest is a, a belgian one where i'm going fishing a public water on my own um, so yeah that'll be quite exciting feel free to subscribe to any uh, to the channel and view any videos ask as many questions as you want until next time see you later